Hey guys, it's Matt, time for Mentorship Monday. Thank you for watching. If you guys have real estate questions, you know what to do. Shoot them to helpme at therosergroup.com. That's helpme at therosergroup.com. And we'll answer your real estate questions right here on the YouTube channel for you and everyone else to learn from. So thank you for watching and thank you for submitting your questions. Today, we got a question from Eddie from up in New York City. Eddie is smart enough to not be investing in New York City. Eddie's investing in Rochester, New York, which for those of you that have done your homework, that's a really good spot to invest. There's a lot of money, state money coming in there. That, that area is gonna blow up over the next five years. So Eddie, you're a wise man. Probably just let your secret out of the bag here to the people that are watching this, but uh, Rochester, New York, you're a wise man, Eddie. So Eddie's got a small portfolio up there. He's got five properties, okay? Uh, the total of value of $290,000. Looks like Eddie owns them free and clear, um, which is uh, pretty cool. He's got the addresses and the dollar amounts listed here. And for anonymity, I'm not going to give you the addresses or the dollar amounts. Doesn't matter, does it? $290,000 is how much the total value is. And Eddie's going to refinance these properties, right? Eddie has two options. One is a five year mortgage, the other one is a 10 year mortgage. It's a rate, it's a, when I say a mortgage, I really mean it's a rate lock, meaning rate locked for five years, rate locked for 10 years. Interesting conversation. Let's see where this goes. So on a five year, the rate's locked at 5.525%, okay? On the 10 year, the rate's locked at 6.10%, okay? That takes the payment according to Eddie. I didn't verify this, but let's just try, let's just trust Eddie here. Eddie's telling us that his payment at the 5.25 is 1585 and the payment on the 10 year is 1661 okay now not that much more money for the for the 10 years you guys are like bro it's no brainer right maybe you know you're right it is pretty close i know what you're thinking it is a, it is a pretty close amount of money it's only $76 right $76 per month but let's extrapolate that out Play a game with me real quick. He locks this in for five years. Uh, the comparison here, because if he if he does this deal, right, the difference in this is this rate over five years. Because after he crosses that five-year line, then the only rate that he could have locked is this. This resets in five, goes to whatever it goes to. Perhaps it goes to 6.1, perhaps it goes someplace more, perhaps it goes less, I don't know. It's a gamble, right? Um, it's not, it's, it's a lack of security and a lack of, it's like a who knows situation, right? So $76 a month, right? Times 12 is $912 a year is $4,560 over the life of, not the life of the loan, but over that five year period. Okay. So that's the question is, are you, is Eddie willing to forego $4,560 worth of cash flow? money out of his own pocket that he would have to pay an interest on that on this deal just for the sake of locking this out call this an insurance policy guys this is what it really is so so eddie this is your insurance premium you would have to pay to lock in for this deal the question i got for you eddie and the question i got for all you other folks is two questions number one according to my according to what i'm reading between the lines here you own these properties free and clear so your, uh, this is your value of the properties, by the way, guys. So those of you that are already doing your math and catching me here, uh, Eddie's gonna pull out 232. Ah, there you go. 232K in a loan, okay? That's a, this is his value. This is the loan. First question, Eddie, what are you gonna do with the money? Are you gonna take that and reinvest it and parlay it into more deals? That's probably a good deal. Could you reinvest that money and and overcome that seventy-six dollar a month difference? Probably pretty easily. Um, are you going to take this and put it back in your pocket and put it in something else, or just put it in uh, put it in CDs and not make that much money with it? I don't know. Seem like you're smarter guy than that, Eddie. But let's let's just say you are not going to do that. But what are you going to do with that cash? That's the first question. And then, what is your long-term goal with these properties? Are you going to you know? build your portfolio, or are you gonna move, are you gonna move up there? Are you gonna plan on moving one of these houses? Odds are you're gonna build your portfolio and invest in more and more real estate and probably look to cash flow long term. Um, let's see, do you say no you don't say how old you are, but that's okay. Uh, last thing is this mortgage is a 20 year am either way. That's the other bit of fact I didn't put up here. 
So my inclination, Eddie, depending on if you're a short-term investor that you know, you're maybe like not going to stay in for inside of five years, then this is the way to go. You're probably a more longer term investor, which is what I would recommend you guys th that you do is go for the more expensive money and go for the rate lock and the security and pay that premium of locking the rate for longer, right? This is actually a pretty tight spread. I've seen these numbers be much, much higher and I've been offered mortgages on property that we got offered we had one that was the one mortgage was a 3.365 3.375 for a five year rate lock. The 10 year rate lock was something like 4.2. So it didn't that large of a spread didn't make the didn't make sense at the size that we were at. So we decided not to go with it. This is so tight. It's seventy six dollars a month. Why wouldn't you do it? So I would recommend you do this and have the rate lock and the 20 year am in 20 years, you'll technically be halfway paid off. You know, the way amortization curves work, you might not be exactly halfway paid off, but you'll be pretty close. So, and then you'll, you'll rest assured knowing that 1661 is a month, the most you're ever going to pay on that debt. So that's my recommendation, Eddie. I would go here, but it does depend on your, uh, your, all your other goals and everything like that. So for you guys, the lesson learned is calculate difference differences in your mortgage options and determine this. This is really like your, your insurance premium for longer mortgages. So calculate that number and decide if it's worth paying that for longer term money. Okay. Thank you, Eddie, for submitting your question. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, it's help me at therosergroup.com. That's help me at therosergroup.com if you guys want to submit real estate questions and we'll answer them right here on the channel. Thank you again for watching and have a great and profitable week.